Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the safest NASes of this year. The importance of data at the end of 2019 and now with 2020 almost upon us cannot be understated. Whether you're a home or business user, there's no denying that whether you're worried about losing data or someone getting hold of your data, it is incredibly imperative that it is kept safe. We've heard too many stories throughout this year about hacks and leaks or information being used against someone and they didn't even know that information had been leaked. When it comes to storing your data for business or maybe the, the data of your customers, you need to know that it's in the most robust and secure fashion. But it's more than that. You need to know that it's safe, secure, but at the same time accessible, and important of all, that it's not going to be lost. You need to make sure your backup strategy is secure enough to take a hit, but at the same time, secure enough not to let anyone in apart from you. Today I want to talk about three solutions from 2019 to 2020 that if you're looking for one of the safest and most secure NASs, chances are it's going to be one of these three. There are loads of NASs out there, all with their own security precautions. Nearly all NASs support one method of encryption or another, with varying levels of RAID support as well. But these three all stand out for their own separate reasons, because they tackle a different area of security in data better than anyone else. So let's start with my first pick, and that is from QSAN, a brand that I don't really talk about much here on this channel, the other channel, or NAS compares. The reason being, they have a very small portfolio of devices. When they do create a device, they spend a lot of time of it. And although they lack a lot of the flashy applications and you know consumer home appeal, the likes of Synology or QNAP, their solutions are rugged as hell. And the one I want to talk about today is part of their X-Cube series. Because although I could narrow it down to the 2 or the 4 or the 6 or the 8 bay device, I want to focus just on the newer generation of X-Cube series overall. The reason being is because of its support of SED media, that is self-encrypted drives. You may have seen some videos that I did earlier this year regarding self-encrypted drives in NAS, because although all NASes provide a level of encryption, AES 256-bit or AES NI 256-bit encryption, um, self-encrypted drives are important because they don't just rely on the host system to deal with encryption. The drives themselves built into the controller have their own encryption built in. So if someone gets hold of the drives, it makes no difference because they can't get the data without the encryption key. Now, most NAS brands support uh, encryption in different ways. With Synology, you can encrypt folders, so shared folders and internal folders, so everything within that folder is encrypted and garbled, and if someone gets hold of it without the key, they can't get the data. QNAP, on the other hand, will encrypt all the way down to the volume level and the storage pool, so that um, that area of storage, that large store, that volume is completely encrypted and inaccessible if stolen. <clears throat> but QSAN take it that bit further. Because of their support, their full support of self-encrypted drives, they encrypt the hard drives before the system can even boot. So if you've installed SED drives in a QSAN NAS, what happens is, when you first set the device up, it will you will be invited to create an encryption key. <clears throat> when you've done that, the device, every time it shuts down and reboots, say you're doing it for a firmware update or powering it down uh, uh, periodically, the device will not boot without that encryption key. And you have to unlock each drive one by one, and then the device will let you boot. You access to the device as you normally would over the IP, but instead of being presented with the QSAN login screen, you are presented with a unlock these drives screen. And as simple as that seems, no other NAS brand has taken this on in the same way and definitely in the desktop sector. What you've got from them is a very, very secure NAS because although Synology encrypt the folder and QNAP encrypt folder and volume, um, the QSAN encrypts every single tier if you so choose. You've got that bespoke secure setup if you want it, and it's why they're in my top three of most secure NASes of the year. 
Now, the second NAS I want to talk about today is the um, uh, the Synology UC3200, the dual, core, uh, dual controller NAS. Now, I have talked about this device before, even doing a live test in Taiwan showing what happens when a controller is pulled. In fact, they are not the only NAS brand out there with a dual controller architecture NAS. The idea of a dual controller NAS is that you have two CPUs, two motherboards, two sets of um, uh, RAM modules, two sets of circuitry, and the rear two sets of ports, effectively two brains, all connected to the same storage. And with these two controllers, you have a system whereby if one of them breaks, or a CPU breaks, or something just lets you down, the second controller is there keeping the device going. Now, why am I focusing on Synology, even though brands like QNAP have had dual controller devices out there for longer? Well, they this device arrives with their software on board, the Synology Disk, um, um, in this case, Rackstation software, DSM 6.2 and DSM 7 coming soon. QNAP, their version arrives with QES, which is, at the moment, until Q uh, ZFS Hero, uh, QTS Hero comes along, is an all right application and software platform, but it arrives at a very, very few applications. And QES is a much more streamlined, business-focused um, version of QTS's own software. Whereas DSM on the UC3200 gives you a myriad of first and third party application support and all of the Synology applications for business too, as well as Office, Chat, um, a drive, a mail, surveillance, and more, all of them, and along with all of their security software too, as well as active backup as well. There are loads of things that can be done, and if you're running a situation where you've got shared folders with multiple businesses or departments, or virtual machines, or long-term backups and synchronization at all times, you can't afford to just rely on RAID. You need to make sure you've got RAID um, you know, protection, sure, on your hard drives, but also a dual controller operation with the added bonus that the UC3200 does allow you to use both sets of CPUs, those um, super powerful Xeon CPUs, and both sets of memory in one task. If you like, you can draw from both controllers to work on single tasks if you so choose. But if one controller goes, you've still got access. It just halves all of your hardware uh, resources behind it. This is an active, active um, architecture rather than active passive where you pick one to take care of the main body of things while the other one sits in the background waiting to take over. Active, active means they are both synchronized at all times or working together as needed. And that's why the UC3200 is on my list. It's not necessarily new technology, but they have done it the best way so far. So what could beat that? What is my third place of the most secure NAS? Anyone that's been following this channel this year will know that it's going to be the IOSafe, the 1019. I did so much with and to that device. The IOSafe 1019 is a waterproof, fireproof, and technically damage-proof NAS. It runs on Synology's DSM software, but it is produced by IOSafe. That's a company that, work with, uh, that I partnered with Crew, uh, the DX115 and DCP company I've talked about before, that make rugged storage accessories and components. The IOSafe arrives um, with an Intel quad-core CPU and 8 gig of memory, and even supports the NVMe SSD cache that the 1019 that it's architecturally based on provide. It's got all the Synology DSM software included, the camera licenses, all of those apps that I've just talked about. It is a great solution. Also arriving, if you like, pre-populated with NAS hard drives too, to bring the price down overall. That said, it's not a cheap device. Even the lowest um, tier arrives at about two grand. So what do you get for two grand? Well, you've got a NAS that can be um, set fire to or submerged in heat of up to 1500 degrees. With, when it's submerged in, those, um, in that heat, hopefully they're on the screen, it can survive in that for quite a long time. We did a test during the summer, hopefully the video, if not on screen, should be a link on the side, where we put this NAS on a highly heated barbecue for around 30 to 40 minutes. We cooked that NAS when it had data on it. 
we then submerged it in water because this device can su uh, survive 10 feet of water for up to 72 hours. So we submerged the whole device in water and then connected it to a PC and our data was completely safe and every single drive reported absolutely fine. Now, they do not certify this device for damage, but they do certify some of their SSD devices, so we decided to let's take it out and beat the living hell out of it, which we did. We dropped it from a height of around eight or nine feet on its side, smashing into the ground. The data survived. We then beat it to set, we beat it to pieces with hammers, bits of wood, bricks, to the music of Ave Maria. When we beat the living hell out of it, we connected it, and the data was still okay. That's what I mean about this device being secure, because my first solution protects you from theft and hacking. My second solution protects you from hard drive failure, and the third solution protects you and your data from disaster, be it fire in your building, in your area, flooding in your building or area, or malicious damage or damage from the likes of earthquakes. It is an incredible device and has earned its place on my three most safe NAS of 2019 and early 2020. Remember, if you're watching this beyond about May 2020, I may have done an update to this video, but for now, at this time of recording, at the end of 2019 and early 2020, these are my top three safest NASs of the year. Do go to the NAS Compare article in the description for more information on each of these devices, a bit more photography there, and lots of links to some of the stuff I've referred to. Otherwise, click like if you've enjoyed this, click subscribe to learn more, and I'll see you next time.